Hello Year 7, here I am back in my kitchen for another science practical at home. So we're looking at the home learning for the past course topic, separating salt from rock salt. And you'll have been given your pack that looks just like this um, at school. We've got a Petri dish with one piece of filter paper and some rock salt. Okay, And there's our other part of our Petri dish. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our rock salt and we're going to crush it okay which you can do with the back of a spoon you could do it maybe with a rolling pin but we're going to crush it as much as we can to try and increase the surface area help the dissolving of the salt in the next stage if you've got a pestle and mortar that would be brilliant Okay, I might even suggest using a better bag than this one. This bag is quite thin, so I think that if I do this too much, I'm actually going to split the bag and just end up making a mess. So you work out what's going to be best for you to kind of crush your salt. Get a rolling pin here. might do the job a bit better actually. It's a bit like a pestle and mortar, doing the job of crushing, increasing that surface area. Okay, I have actually split the bag but that's okay, I can clean that up in a bit. Now, I'm going to pour all of that rock salt into a mug now you must remember and I'm going to keep saying this the salt that we produce is not edible we don't want to be eating this it's got lots of uh, bits and pieces in it that we don't want to consume it may be um, that we're saying we're making a pure sample but it's probably best not to consume it, okay? We don't really want to get into the habit of consuming things that we produce in science. So in there, I have all of my rock salt and I'm going to pour in it. This is kettle water, but I've let it cool a bit. I'm just gonna... And what I'm doing now is all of that soluble salt soluble meaning it can dissolve, is now dissolving in that liquid. So I've gone for hot liquid. As you found out from your dissolving practical, I'm sure uh, warm is better than cold at dissolving. So I'm going to give this time and keep lifting it up. You can see what I've got here. Okay, we want all of the salt to dissolve. Now in with this, we've got grit and other insoluble substances. And they're not going to dissolve and we need to really get rid of those in the next stage which is filtration so it's quite warm okay again you can leave this longer i'm kind of doing the the fast version of this you can definitely take longer on each stage than i am to get this done properly now to our filter paper your filter paper is just folded to fit it into your Petri dish. But I've got the filter paper here. I'm going to fold it in half once and in half a second time. And then we've got kind of four sections. I'm going to have it so I've got three sections on one side and one on the other. And you can see here's my filter paper. We don't want to stab in this, okay? If you stab a hole in that, it's all going to drain through. It's not going to do the job of filtering, okay? Equally, if we do uh, even split half on each side, it's not going to go through. So we do have to get it to go through that bit. And that's where our second mug or cup or glass, whatever, comes into place. And we'll hold that as best I can on the, the three ply side and I'm just going to pour oh I'm gonna to have to do this twice okay I've already uh, shown you how it can go wrong so if I hold that over there 
put it back in and it's going to be a very slow process of just doing a bit at a time to get as pure a sample as we can. As soon as that spilled over, I'd got some contaminated salt there. So just a bit at a time, give it a go. You can see it filtering now. Okay, we want a really pure sample. It might be that you have to send it through the filter paper a few times. You don't need to pour all of your solution in. You don't need to get all of the bits of grit and pour those into the filter paper. Just do your best to try and get a fair amount of your solution through into your mug. Okay, again, be aware I'm doing the the faster approach, if you like. I'm doing the, uh, I've just dropped it again. I'm doing the, um, the quick approach, which is probably not the most efficient. So I'm doing this in real time. I'm trying to do it to show you how it could work. It's probably quite good that some of the uh, pitfalls are coming through here. So you'll have to really think about how you do this so you can get a pure solution. Pure, it will look nice and clear, okay, colourless, no, uh, no colour like this basically, okay, so again just pour some of that through, once you are happy that you've got enough solution there and you've only, you only need to get enough that it goes into your Petri dish here, um, then we're going to pour that solution into our Petri dish and we're going to leave it, it might take a couple of days, for all of the water to evaporate and to leave the crystals behind. So just to be um, kind of explaining what's happening here, all of those insoluble substances are being trapped by the filter paper. Okay, you can see there's a residue in there. Okay, and all of the soluble salt dissolved in the water and and it travel through the filter paper. This actually seems to be working quite well, okay? I'm learning a new trick as I do this. It's hard to do it without a funnel. At school, we just have a funnel. It'd be really easy. We just put that into the funnel and it would hold it steady. So I'm learning at the same time as you. This is the first time I've tried to do it at home. Okay, and I'm gonna put... So I've been filtering for a while now sent it through a couple of times and I've got a colourless liquid in this mug and now I'm going to pour the contents of this mug into my Petri dish and leave that for a couple of days to um, crystallise for the water to evaporate and I'm not going to show you what that looks like because I want you to see that for yourself so in it goes I could add some more if I want to uh, totally up to you and then just pop the lid on, sell the tape on and bring it into school to show your teacher. Hope you enjoyed that. Please hit subscribe if you enjoyed it and you'd like to see more content. Thank you.